Big Update in Canada Immigration from 2022 In today's video update, we will talk about Canada introducing National Occupational Classification 2021 and its impact on immigrants in 2022. The new way Canada categorizes occupations, which will affect some economic classes and temporary foreign worker applicants. Canada's immigration system will improve the way it categorizes occupations in autumn 2022. The developments will affect some economic classes and foreign worker applicants, although the federal government has still to announce which sorts of applicants will be affected. Canada's system for classifying occupations is called the National Occupational Classification NOC. The NOC is reviewed yearly and renewed every five years to make sure it reflects Canada's evolving labor market. It gets renewed about every 10 years, making the latest edition the most significant upgrade since 2011. The NOC is essential for Canadian immigration because it is practiced by federal and provincial governments to manage skilled worker immigration programs and the Temporary Foreign Worker Program (TFWP). An immigrant or temporary foreign worker must fit the NOC eligibility criteria of the program they are applying to. For example, under Express Entry, skilled worker immigration candidates must exhibit they have work experience in a NOC that comes under one of the following codes. NOC 0, skill type 0 jobs are normally managerial. NOC A, skill type A jobs are professional and usually need a university degree or NOC B, Skill Type B jobs are skilled trades occupations that normally need a college diploma or training as an apprentice. The Department of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada IRCC, and Canada's provinces and territories at present use NOC 2016 to evaluate eligibility for skilled worker immigration programs. The Department of Employment and Social Development Canada ESDC, has also been using NOC 2016 to assess the Labor Market Impact Assessment LMIA, applications. The LMIA is the labor market test of the Canadian government. It is obligated under the Temporary Foreign Worker Program TFWP. When an LMIA application is evaluated, ESDC must decide if the hiring of a foreign citizen will have either a positive or neutral impact on Canadian workers. During this point, a foreign worker can take their LMIA and job offer letters in support of their work permit applications to IRCC. IRCC declared that the federal government anticipates that it will be in a position to start the new way it classifies occupations sometime in autumn 2022. They said this will give IRCC time to notify stakeholders about the developments and implement the new system across its programs. IRCC is also joining the rollout with ESDC to make sure of consistency throughout the work permit application process. New tier system substitutes NOC skill levels. Instead of the present approach of categorizing jobs based on skill type, the Canadian government will now classify jobs based on a new training, education, experience and responsibilities also known as tier system. Currently, NOC skill levels come under four categories, A, B, C, and D. NOC 2021 steers away from this method and introduces the tier system with six categories, tier category 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Our video ends here. Please don't forget to support us by subscribing to our channel and press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates. Thanks for watching today's video update.